Hi everyone, Spectrum News meteorologist Kaylee Wendt here bringing you another science lesson. And today's probably a little bit unseasonable as temperatures are warming up, but it's a good opportunity to talk about lake effect snow and lake effect rain. First, I did want to show you our season totals in terms of snowfall. For the Buffalo Metro, we saw 64 and a half inches. Now that is 25 inches below average. And although we may see some snowflakes here and there over the next few weeks, it's going to be not enough to get back up to that typical or average amount. Now in terms of lake effect snow, I wanted to start out by explaining how it happens. Now what we need is mild lake waters, and this year we had it. We also had very little ice coverage, so that helped to produce some of that snow. We also needed this second ingredient, which is cold air aloft. Now when that mild air and the cold air kind of interact with each other is when we start to get lake effect snow. So at first lake effect cloud cover develops and eventually areas like Buffalo get hard hit with snow as those clouds start to produce precip. Now I wanna focus in on wind direction because sometimes you know meteorologists kind of miss a forecast and that's because a little bit of a shift in wind direction causes a very different scene to play out. So when we have a southwesterly wind direction, big events happen in the Buffalo Metro and areas like Watertown. A perfect example of this is the blizzard that occurred in January of 2014. Now if we shift those winds just a little bit further west, the Tug Hill Plateau gets clobbered with snow and so does the ski country, places like Ellicottville, in addition to the southern tier. Now, that's the wind direction we typically like to see and see most often in Buffalo. Now when we do switch to a northwesterly wind direction, different areas are impacted. Usually that means heavier snow falls in Syracuse and the Mohawk Valley. Now for western New York, a little bit closer to home, multiple bands will likely develop south of Lake Erie and we will see some squalls provided in Orleans County the south of Rochester and off of Lake Ontario. Now I hope this helps you to explain to your kids or your students, you can call them, all about lake effect snow. And as I mentioned earlier on, if you have any ideas for me, feel free to pass them along. Stay healthy and stay safe.